In American church culture, people may transition to different churches for a variety of reasons. It's always difficult when you may experience familiar faces and maybe even longtime friends who choose to break fellowship and association with the local assembly of believers. When somebody moves away, we're sad, but it's often a good transition. When people leave a church out of offense or distrust, that's always difficult. The biblical truth is you never really leave a church. We are the church. We're a local gathering that's a small part of something much bigger, and it operates under the biblical authority of elders. Ordinarily, you would never leave a true biblical church. However, Western culture that's driven by this individual consumer mindset, it looks at the church like a commodity. The closest thing that we have to compare to that would be like a YMCA or a community center. Lots of programs for various ages and interests, but this entire concept is not a biblical way to view a church. The church was never intended to be a club you joined because of what it offers you. If you're just at church because of what it offers you, then you're positioning your heart and your mindset to leave when the church no longer meets your needs or expectations. It's not a service. It's not a commodity for you. That's why at BCC we don't use the verbiage of church service. It doesn't align biblically. We use the phrase Sunday gathering or weekly large gathering because this is a strong biblical concept. People leave churches for various reasons, but let's talk about those and how maybe you should handle leaving if you're ever faced with this difficult decision. Number one would be that scripture is not being preached or handled correctly from the leadership. Number two would be that sin is tolerated in the leadership or undealt with in a biblical, healthy manner. Number three, leadership's acting out of line with the qualifications of biblical leadership and authority. And if any of these things are happening, you should prayerfully consider leaving a local assembly. Here is a biblical way to handle your next steps. Number one, talk with the elders. Ask clarifying questions. Are they aware sin is tolerated or are they aware biblical principles aren't being followed? Share your concerns and seek to understand from a biblical perspective, not just sharing your opinion. Approach leadership with humility, with concern, not with a bunch of accusations. If you do not have biblical reasons for your concerns, then evaluate if it's just something you simply don't like because of a personal preference. A personal preference is never a good or biblical reason to leave a church because when you do that, it only reinforces this consumer mentality and it gives it opportunity for the enemy. Scripture teaches us that God places us in the body where he sees fit and we're called to grow where we're planted. And if you leave a church without having learned what God is trying to teach you perhaps through the hardship you're enduring, then you're bound to repeat that lesson somewhere else. The second thing to do would be to follow Matthew 18. Seek forgiveness, seek reconciliation. Do everything in your power to not leave a church offended because you'll carry that offense to another church. We're called to follow God, not man. If someone leaves without following the biblical standard as Christ taught in Matthew 18, it is our position that we do not pursue a person who has left our assembly in an unbiblical way. However, we leave the door open for them to return. It just might require some conversations with the elders to help bring healing and reconciliation within our fellowship because our goal in our heart is to maintain that spirit of unity. It's always difficult when we see friends leave for various reasons. Change is hard for most people, but navigating it well is going to actually help the body stay unified and it's going to create the growth in you as a disciple being conformed into the image of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10 says, I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and of the same judgment.